Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to add the calculator to your quick access toolbar your, or your QUAT. And basically this little area up here is where your quick access toolbar is. If I click on this down screen you can, you can customize your quick access toolbar and what I've done here is added, added this calculator function here. Now this calculator function is actually part of the Windows environment. It's one of the software applications that are part of in the Windows environment. You can find it in the Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8 probably. So this video is, isn't really about how to use uh, Excel, but how to use the calculator and add that as part of the Excel application. So how do you add the calculator function here? You, so basically you can click the drop down here and you go under more commands and you can see if I go, let's say that I just remove this one, right? So it's, it disappears from there. Now if I want to find the calculator, you can just go to all commands and if you click in here, you can just type the letter C or scroll down and you'll, see, you'll go to the first word that begins with the letter C and you want to add the calculator here. You can just click add. It will show up here and you just click OK and you will have that calculator icon there. So why would I want to cover this? Well, actually it's kind of a nifty little application. Say for example you had wanted to do some calculations in Excel, let's say maybe some multiplication and you just had to do equals 4 times 4 and that's going to be 16, right? Well, if you had a bunch of data already in your worksheets and you want to do some calculations, some simple calculations, maybe not so simple calculations, why not just bring up the calculator? And if I click that, you can see that the calculator here is your plain old calculator here, but you can have some functionality. There's some actually built-in functionality here. So for example, as part of the feature of the calculator, you can calculate mortgage payments. So if you look here, you can calculate down payment, your monthly payments, your purchase price, your term. You put these values in here, such as such as the purchase price. Let's say that we buy a house, we want to buy a house at three hundred thousand uh, dollars. We only want to have a down payment, well, twenty percent down payment, sixty thousand dollars, and a term of thirty years with interest rate maybe three percent, and it'll calculate the monthly payment that we have to do. There's other things you can do here too if you want to do some quick calculations. If we want to do this calculation, of course, there is the Excel calculation, um, the equal payment or the equal FB or future value or present value formulas. But if you wanted to do some quick calculations and not do anything on your sheet, the calculator here is a great tool to do that. Now, in addition to doing like monthly calculations for a mortgage, there's also other things. If you go under View, Worksheets, you can calculate a vehicle lease, you can calculate miles per gallon, fuel economy, you can even calculate fuel economy based on liters per kilometer. So that's a lot of neat little features you can use as part of the calculator. Now in addition to the standard calculator, you, there's also the scientific calculator. So you can use it for scientific calculations, doing sine, cosine, or you can even use programmer calculations here if you want to change from binary to hex, uh, decimal, and there's also a statistic calculator. So if you wanted to do some uh, some averages, means, uh, do some standard deviation, you can actually do some of it with a scientific calculator here. Also, there's other features you can do here, like you can do unit conversion. You can do converting from angles, energy, length, power pressure. There's a lot of different things here. This you can also do in Excel with some formulas, but if you didn't have room in your formula, or if you didn't have room in your worksheet, you can do it here with the calculator. So let's say, for example, we wanted to convert from length. We wanted to do maybe what's one centimeter and how many meters is it? Well, it'll tell you 0 0.01 meters. So there's a lot of cool little things you can do here. And ah, one more thing, date calculation. It also does date calculation. What's the difference between two dates? So you can do this in Excel, but if you want to do some quick calculations on your calculator, let's say we want to show what is a calculation between August 20th to today's date of November 22nd. We just need to put those dates in, press the calculate button, and it'll tell you in terms of years, months, weeks, and days, and also just days. So that's a nice other cool little tool here. So you can view this as standard scientific programmer statistics usually when you bring up calculator it comes up in standard and usually you don't have this particular uh, worksheet here you usually see it as basic when you usually bring up your calculator it looks like this now if you didn't want to add it to your quat or your quick access toolbar you can also bring it up from your start from the start icon 
So basically, your start icon is that yellow, is that little Windows icon on the lower right when you bring up Windows, and you just have to click that, and the search field will come up, and just type in calc, C-A-L-C, and that will bring up that calculator. So even though it's not inherently an Excel function, it's kind of nice to have that tool there if you wanted to use that. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos from me, click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and leave a comment below. I'd like to hear from you and hope to see the feedback. Also, do you think others might benefit from this video? If so, click the share text below. YouTube will automatically provide a shortened link to this video and give you options to share on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and other social networking sites. Again, thanks for watching.